Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have some exciting news for all CBSE students who love science, innovation and creativity. Yes, CBSE has officially announced the CBSE Science Exhibition 2526. Let's dive in and see what it's all about. This is the official circular released by CBSE on 3rd September 2025 with subject CBSE Science Exhibition 2526. As you know, CBSE has taken many initiatives to generate curiosity and develop scientific attitude among learners. And science exhibition is one of such initiatives. It provides platform to students to demonstrate the construction of knowledge by con connecting new idea to existing concept. Now, CBSE science exhibition will held in two labels. The first label will be your regional label and second label is national label and all this both the label will take place between October 2025 to January 2026. Now let's see the theme and sub, sub theme for science exhibition of 2526. So the theme is Vixit and Atnirbhar Bharat and sub themes are sustainable agriculture waste management and alternative to plastic, green energy, emerging technologies, recreational and mathematical modeling, health and hygiene, and last sub-theme is water conservation and management. So this is theme and sub-theme of this year. And a student can choose any one of this sub-theme to make their model. Now let's see a few guidelines for this exhibition. So all the registration process will take place online and it's started on 3rd September and last day is 26th September 2025 and link is available in official website. I have also given link in the description as well as in the comment section of this video and last date for registration as well as for submission of fees is 26th September. Remember you don't only need to register you need to pay fees before 26 September. Now what is the registration fees? For all the school registration fees is 3000. And there are two categories in which a student can participate. Category 1 is for students of classes 6 to 8 and category 2 is for students of 9 to 11. A school can send maximum two student for same category means a school team a team consists of two students. Remember, they should be of the same category. Means either 6 to 8 or 9 to 11. And one science teacher with them. And your school can register maximum of two teams. One team for category 1 and another team for category 2. And remember, name of student as well as mentor teacher. Once register, it cannot be changed at any stage. So if you have submitted name of student and teacher, it won't be possible to change. Same thing applies to sub theme also as well as title of the project. So while registering, make sure you are selecting the sub theme as well as the title of project correctly because you cannot change afterward. After registration, all the team like each school has two team, both the team will get unique login credential for CBSE science exhibition portal. Then what type of projects are acceptable? First one is investigation based study. Second application of basic principle of science and technology. And third a novel solution or indigenous design to a problem or challenge. Next thing student must ensure to use only eco-friendly material in preparation of exhibit then now let's see the criteria for assessment so first is creativity and imagination of 20 percent weightage then originality and innovativeness 15 percent scientific thought or principle or approach behind it will carry 15 percent next one is digit technical skill workmanship and craftsmanship has 15 percent weightage Educational value, scalability and utility for society has 15%. Then economics, whether it's low cost, 
portability and durability has 10% weightage and lastly your presentation effectiveness of display and relevant explanation carry 10% weightage and remember decision of judge and expert will be final this regional stage of exhibition will be held at different venue across country multiple venues will be decided and cbsc will inform about venue and date afterward to individual school through the mail id only and school participating school need to bear all the expenses related to participation whether they load lodging or boarding arrangement they only have to do and they only has to bear all the expenses for foreign school regional round will be conducted online through video conferencing but for national they need to come physically in india that to on their own expenditure to a travel stay and other expenses next one is best 14 exhibit at each regional level imagine if 10 regional level are there so 10 into 14 140 model will be selected and they will be going to next level which is national level and date and venue will be informed later on then entry selected as best as national level will be duly recognized and they will be awarded then the names of winner for cbse national science exhibition will be forwarded to rashtriya bal vigyanik pradarshini 2026 organized by ncert so if you are the best at national level so you will be getting award by cbse as well as you will get the chance to be participant of rashtriya bal vigyanik pradarshini which is organized by ncert as well as you also get direct entry to participate in science fair organized by initiative for research and innovation in stem which is by irish 2526 now if you have any query you can contact on this telephone number or you can mail it at this science.fair@cbsc.in and all the school head are requested to encourage student to participate in cbsc science exhibition 25 26 so students gather up brainstorm your idea and register to your school before 26 september 2025 teachers and parents please encourage your young innovator to take part in this wonderful initiative let's create innovate and build a better future together through science if this video is helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe we'll meet in another video with some more interesting information for you Till then goodbye keep learning